Welcome back to my shop. Uh, I've been playing around some more with my grinder and uh, as you can see I put some shelves behind it so uh, I have somewhere to store all the accessories for it and uh, today I'm going to make uh, a belt for using this as uh, a cylindrical grinder. Uh, here you can see uh, the main uh, headstock that bolts onto here with those uh, 12 millimeter T-slots. Of course if you have a headstock uh, you have a tailstock, looks like this. Uh, and uh, this headstock here has a 40 taper and the accessories can be removed by removing uh, the drawbar of course and then you remove the accessories and these original Tom's accessories uh, they have the 40 taper and then they have uh, their own uh, thread for their own drawbar and obviously since I have a lot of accessories for my decal and uh, for my abena, I'm going to uh, uh, make some new drawbars that have the decal S20 by 2 buttress thread and also a drawbar with uh, M16 thread. So I can put all my uh, abena ISO 40 accessories here. By loosening this screw, you can move the headstock this way and by loosening this screw, you can move the headstock this way. Uh, back here is a pulley, and you're supposed to be able to remove this pulley and replace it with uh, dividing plates. The pulley on this uh, headstock is uh, stuck, unfortunately. I have to get it loose somehow. But luckily, I have a spare headstock where it isn't stuck, so. I just thought I'd show you what's inside here and here instead of the pulley is a dividing plate and uh, this one uh, has 24 divisions so it has 24 holes here and here is a small pin that comes out when I pull this lever and this makes it possible to use this uh, as a dividing head. The purpose of this pulley is uh, that you can use uh, the tone grinder as uh, a cylindrical grinder. And that is done by uh, using a motor. This is the original tone three-phase motor that attaches to this surface here. And uh, that drives uh, this uh, spindle by means of a belt. And I'm going to put this on here, like so. And Get this washer out, and there we go. Okay. Here's a view from the headstock side, and here's a view from the top. And as you can see, uh, those pulleys on the motor and on the headstock are V-shaped. So uh, I ob obviously thought that I needed a V-shaped belt for this. So I went to a shop that specializes in belts and told them I wanted this belt and uh, they didn't have any v-shaped belts in this size but they suggested I get this which is a round belt and they just said that I could use this one and this motor isn't transferring any great forces or anything so I bought this belt and now I thought I'd uh, make one to fit here. I cut off a piece uh, of belt in the proper length and the way to they put these ends together is to uh, heat a piece of sheet metal and they push the ends against the sheet metal and then slide them off and have them melt together. Then of course you have to trim the joint with a sharp knife. After trimming, uh, the belt is put uh, between the motor and the pulley, like so. And the motor is attached to a power outlet at the, the base of the grinder. Just to try this out, I'm going to uh, grind a piece of uh, scrap. And first I remove uh, this tailstock and 
then I'm going, then I'm going to dress the wheel uh, using this uh, diamond here. So I put this on the table. And then I'm going to try this on uh, a piece of scrap tube. So here we go. Well that was just a quick try and as you can see I successfully ground it all the way around and uh, obviously I was grinding without a protection around uh, the grinding disc and that shouldn't be done and well I'm aware of that so I'm going to make some protection eventually. I hope you enjoyed this short video on uh, making the belt and doing some uh, cylindrical grinding on the tongue. Uh, see you later.